hopefully I can multitask and drive and interview yeah, at the same time. This is, that'll be interesting. Your life is in my hands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll be okay. I, I trust you. What's up, guys? Welcome to Dan O'Brien's awesome drive to the match. I'm Jeff Lemieux. My passenger today, Sebastian Legette. Sebastian, thanks for joining me, man. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm comfortable. Uh, every, you know, we're, we're safe. You're, uh, you're behind the wheel, so we're, uh, I think we're good here. That's the most important thing. You feel, you feel comfortable with the situation? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, <laughs> you guys are on the road Saturday night, taking on DC United at yes. Audi Field, 7.30 p.m. Luckily for you, we're not actually driving to DC right now. Thankfully. That might be a little too long in the car with you. <laughs> but say we were about to head out on a long road trip. We're stopping right. up at, you know, we're stopping at the gas station, we're gonna fuel up, get some snacks. What are the go-to road trip snacks for you? What are you picking up? Oh, the go-to snack. I mean, I'm kind of a health nut. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people know that about me, but I'm, I'm more of the, the light snack, you know, nuts. I wait for the bigger meals. I'm, a, uh, I'm just, that's more my style. You know, stay lean, all that stuff. Fair enough. If you yeah. were if you were going long distance, I know you said you're comfortable in the yeah. passenger seat right now. Do you prefer to be the passenger on a road trip or do you, do you like to be behind the wheel? Uh, ooh. You know what, I like to be behind the wheel because you, you get full, full control of the music choice. You know what I mean? Nobody can tell you anything. You know, my girlfriend is like, she she has no she has no say. You know what I mean? It's like, or, or, or my buddies, they can't be like, oh no, I put this on. It's like the playlist is set. We're good to go. Don't don't worry about it. So that's your rule. If you're driving, it's your music. There's no back and it's, forth. It's just it's, just, it's the way it has to be. You know, it's just it's, it's the only way to go. What are you putting on? What's the first Ooh, album you're listening to? God, man. I mean, I love me. I don't know if this is a you know, a lot of people in New England uh, listen to, to Spanish music, but I okay. do. I do get down to some some, some reggaeton, some hip hop, some R and B. That's more my style. But I do love me some country. You know, I don't know. I I, I dabble. All right. I dabble. What is the best road trip you have ever been on? Doesn't necessarily need to be a car road trip. Uh, Could be. You know, it could have been a flight if you need be, but sure, bonus sure, points sure. if it's a big, big, long car road trip. Okay, um, one of the most scenic and beautiful ones, probably like driving up to Yosemite in California. Okay. So uh, for those who haven't been to Yosemite, I highly, highly recommend it. It's probably just, it's, the scenery is, I mean, it's breathtaking, you know? So uh, that's probably, yeah, something that, uh, that I'll always remember. That seems like a pretty legit road trip. Yeah, that's 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 one that we gotta do. But I hear there's a lot of good ones in the Northeast. Well, so I was so. gonna say too, you're relatively new to the New England area. Mm. I know you've just been getting settled in. Obviously you came in and immediately started the season. Have you had a chance to get in the car and explore New England at all? Or are you waiting for a little bit of the warmer uh, weather? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. I think, uh, I really wanna go to Maine. From what I hear, Maine in the springtime or fall, right, is, something that's uh super nice which isn't too far away right no yeah, yeah you can get to maine and uh, yeah. from here probably get to maine in an hour and a half I think. yeah hour and a half yeah so i i think that's one thing um one thing that i really want to do in october which i'm sure is pretty popular around here is to go to salem okay yeah uh, i know it's not a road trip but something that i really want to do trip. in october uh, in october time um, cause I hear it's quite, uh, have you been? I've actually never done Salem around You've Halloween. You've heard about it, right? Yeah, I have, you've heard yeah, about yeah, the whole yeah, thing. Of course, okay. of course. Uh, but as far as like a really long road trip, I have, I, I, I still need to explore. I still need to ask some guys what's, what's the one. You did have kind of a, a quintessentially Boston slash New England experience though. Earlier this week, you went to the Boston Marathon yes. for the first time. What was that experience like? Man, we, we was, make a big deal of Marathon Monday. Yeah, it w and I didn't realize how, how big of a deal it was. And, it, and it's, I, I, I guess because I've never been around that sort of environment before. So to, to go into the streets, and, and I live in downtown, so I really felt the energy. And um, I, I could really feel everybody was excited. And, uh, you know, yeah, just to be around it, it was awesome. You know, just to support and even for people that, you know, obviously there's people there that are supporting their their own family members or friends, but uh, I didn't know many people, but we were still cheering them on and you know just having a good time and yeah, it, it was really cool to connect with a city like that. You ever gonna run a marathon? I thought of so every time yeah, so every time somebody's running by me, I'm like, man, I think I could do this. I mean, like, what if I call Bruce up right now and be like, you know, what, boss, I'm gonna uh, I'm just gonna do this marathon really quick and then I'll be ready for Saturday, you know? Yeah, but. I don't know if that would have fly, uh, you know, it just wouldn't fly too well with him. But uh, I think one day, I think one day. 
I think 26.2 miles sounds like a pretty solid warm up. <laughs> you you I, run you run probably you'd be like 50 miles. I, day, I, oh man, I mean me and me and Matt Polster probably we, we probably I think the average is like eight miles a game. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, which yeah. is a pretty good clip. Which you know, it, it, it's a good chunk. Yeah, it's a good chunk of the marathon. But then you you still got you still got a while to go. So um, I think when I retire. I'll definitely do it. You know, hopefully run for charity or do something for a good cause. I think that'd be awesome. All right. Well, Sebastian, really appreciate you taking a little ride with me today. Folks, this has been Dan O'Brien's awesome drive to the match. Come into any Dan O'Brien Auto Group store today and get your awesome protection plan. Sebastian, what do the people have to do? Keep it awesome. Keep it awesome. We'll see you soon.